The wildfires that covered the state in the summer and fall of 2020 burned the soil so badly that some areas have a condition that scientists call hydrophobic. It, it creates this uh, almost like plastic nature of the soils, I think, where we're literally it's impossible for the uh, moisture to penetrate. Assistant state climatologist Becky Bollinger says that often results in flash flooding. Instead of going into the ground like you would expect rain to go into the ground, you could more think of it as like falling on uh, like the surface of a car and it just rolls off. Bollinger says that drought can cause a similar condition in the soil even without being burned by a wildfire. She says soil that's been dry for an extended amount of time can harden and become less porous, which can repel rain just like soil burned by a wildfire. The, the response would be different than if uh, the soils weren't quite as dry and it were to rain the same amount and the same time period over it. The mudslides and flash flooding in Glenwood Canyon were the result of hydrophobic soils created during the Grizzly Creek fire last year. This mudslide on Poncha Pass last week that closed Highway 285 was not near a wildfire burn scar. Drought may have created water repellent soil that contributed to that flash flood. Chafee County has been in drought conditions for 14 straight months. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.